Hey, honey. Hi. Look at how cute he is. Oh, there goes a pumpkin. Hi, pumpkin. He's like, I'm gonna hide in my hidey hole now. Hi, mittens. Wanna tell the internet what we're up to? Uh, I'm lounging around, not really doing anything. Oh, that's so cute. <laughs> is he making it difficult to use your computer? Meh. A little bit? Yeah, we're, not, we're lounging around, not doing much of anything. I am behind on uploading and editing, I think, for the vlogs. And I am on restaurant.com because I bought a gift card and I didn't realize um, the limited amount of choices there are. I think the point of the site is to help you like discover small locally owned restaurants in your area and like to get people in the door at those places that they may or may not have heard of or haven't tried yet. So yeah, I, I'm trying to pick out restaurants for us to go try and there's ones in most of the ones that are on the site that sound like they have places that, that most of the places that sound like they have something we can eat aren't really close to us so we're going to have to figure out what we're going to do. I've got two so far but I got a $75 gift card or gift certificate online code or whatever but I got it for only 25 so they're a pretty good deal but some of these um, places you get like a $15 gift card and you have a minimum purchase of $22.50 so you still have to go in the door and spend some money it's basically like a discount but still a pretty good deal because it allows us to eat out more than we would be able to afford so it encourages us to try places that we haven't tried yet like there's an Ethiopian place and there's some like strange fusion eclectic place that has vegan enchiladas and soup and salads and stuff so that, sh that place should be interesting and it's near um, the con condo timeshare thing that my parents have that they're going to be going to later this month so we can try that um, we can try that restaurant out when we visit there even if it's just like a day trip or whatever and go go swimming and hang out and just get a little bit of a break from everything. Right, honey? Yeah. Look nice. Blade's staring at me. He's judging you for putting your dirty socks on the couch. Are my socks on the couch? Yes, your dirty socks are on the arm of the couch. He's judging you. Because he's a cat and that's what cats do. So... Which restaurant should I look up next? What type of restaurant? French. French? That's like the least vegetarian friendly restaurant ever. Am I still recording? Yes, I'm still recording. Hello. I can beat French. <laughs> steakhouse. Steakhouse? There actually is a, there actually is one that's steakhouse and um, Japanese. <laughs> Which is probably like the least vegetarian friendly and somewhat vegetarian friendly in the same building. And you've got these weird like eclectic ones. They, they call themselves eclectic or fusion and they serve like Indian and Italian. Oh, like um, the yeah. glory of India. Yeah, or they're like, I don't know, like a weird, the weird combination and you you look at the menu and you're like, what the heck are you supposed to be? Are you a sandwich shop, an Italian place? or Asian. I don't know. It's like it's very confusing when restaurants are like that. I guarantee you if I click on the French restaurants they're not going to be vegetarian friendly. We'll probably have a better, better luck at like a pizza joint or something. Let's see. <laughs> There's a place called Rumpelstiltskin's restaurant. <laughs> 
That's weird. It's in Lenox. I have no idea where that is. It's near Lee. Oh, on the Berkshires? Yeah. I think it's even further away. I don't know. So what did we do today? Homework. And? We went to the farmer's market. Yes. And we got, what did we get? Kale and bok choy. And what else? Um, some asparagus. Because we can't go to the farmer's market without getting the asparagus. Yep. We have a problem. We're addicted. It's asparagus season. We need it. When do you ever not need asparagus, right? If you're allergic to asparagus. Can someone actually be allergic to asparagus? For sure you can be allergic to anything. Is anybody out there allergic to asparagus? Let us know, because I've never heard of anyone being allergic to asparagus before. Also, if you are allergic to asparagus, how do you manage to not kill yourself? That's not nice. That is not a nice thing to say. Blade, what you got there? What you looking at? What you looking at? Like nothing, I'm just chilling. I like to lay on the edge of dad's computer because I'm a cat. He's so cute. So, um... Yeah, what else do you want to talk about? I don't know. My cousin found me on Facebook. My uncle's daughter. She found me on Facebook. So, now I have contact with a couple of my family members. And perhaps, perhaps, not going to get my hopes up yet because, you know, a lot has to happen before then. But perhaps maybe I'll be able to go to England sometime next year and visit. And that would be nice. Yeah. Wouldn't that be nice? Yeah. I guess I take for granted knowing where all my uh, aunts and uncles are. Well, I know where they all are. I do too. I, 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 know, for, I know for sure now. We have an aunt in Texas, an uncle in England, and the other uncle passed away 10 years ago. See, I have... I'll do my mother's side easy first, because it's easier. That's my mother's side, and I'm on my father's side. Yeah. So that's not fair. I'll do my mother's side first, because it's easier. I got an uncle in Greenfield, up north in Greenfield. And on my dad's side... I you don't have to do specific, like, cities. Okay, well, I have, um, two aunts in upstate New York. Three aunts in upstate New York, if you count the one on the ground. Honey! Uh, there's an uncle next door, another uncle in Connecticut, and then an aunt in the ground up the street. Thank you. That's very nice. In the ground. In the ground. That's mean. You don't, you don't say it like that. Does that mean I have to say I have an uncle in Canada? Because that's where he died? Technically. Well, I mean, whatever happens to the soul is up for debate, but technically his body is in Canada. So physically... Whatever representation I don't know of him. what they did with the body. I'm not going to ask. Well, as far as you know, whatever representation of him exists on the planet Earth is in Canada right now. As far as I know. It's sad, though, to find out that he's gone and I never got to meet him. Was he the oldest? Yeah. Blade, will you be mad if mommy leaves you and goes to England for a little while? A very, 
I, I don't know how long of a while, but a little while. Blaze says, no, I'll, be, I'll get over it as soon as I forget you exist. He's sleeping. He's like, I don't know, he looked like he was just sleeping, sitting up. Like, sleeping with his head up, like... Like, fell asleep like that. That's what he looked like. He looked like he fell asleep like that. It's so funny. I'm looking up Swoodly Pooper real life counterparts on the internet. Mm hmm. Merrick Merrick is not a good looking man. He's not. No. Are you supposed to do this? He's kind of bald. But not. Then again, so are you. Yeah. Not in a good way like me or Bald John Green. Uh-huh. We got an 11 minutes of video here. That's the longest vlog in a month. Probably. I don't know. So what's the plan for tomorrow? Um. Sleep in. And more, then more, more, more reading. Hopefully he fixes the error with the forms. The reply button. Like, yeah. how are you supposed to reply to the forums if there's no reply button? Hopefully I get some sort of response about where to find the um, file types that he can receive. No reply button? What am I ever going to do? No reply button. I don't know. I don't think anybody's going to be responding this late, though. No. So. I got comic books to read. I haven't read my new comic book yet. My Grimm and I want to reread number one for My Little Pony and then read number two. I've been trying to get up and get caught up on all my TV shows and just when I thought it was like oh wow a lot of, I'm not I'm gonna be able to get started on new shows because a lot of my shows went on hiatus. I realized that some of them started back up again. So <sighs> I was like, "Oh, all my shows are going on on hiatus. I can get caught up on like focus on like one show primarily for a while, like Supernatural." And then like, "Oh no, because like everything's coming back on. All the summer shows are coming back on." You know what's weird? Some of the shows that are like summer shows, the setting is like during the school year. Like they're high, shows about like high school. A lot of them are summer shows, but the setting takes place in high school. Like Switched at Birth is set during, high, during the high school year, but it's a summer show. Or actually it it, it's one of those ones that does that weird, like, mid-season finale thing. You ever seen shows do that? It goes off, they do mid-season finale, and then they come back a few months later, and they air the rest of the season. That's kind of weird. But a lot of those shows that are, like, during the summer, they're set during the fall and winter part of the year. It's kind of weird. Hey, would you have any interest in going to see a Whalen Modified Series race in Connecticut in August? Maybe. It's, it's 44 bucks a head. It's in where? Thompsonville, Connecticut. Where the fuck is that? Just over the border. It's probably the closest um, oval track to us since they closed uh, Whip City and Westfield. Sure. We can we can do that. Yeah. Um. But you have to buy tickets. Yeah. It's it's expensive. Oh, they're forty four each. Forty four each. That's a lot of money, honey. Yeah. Well, there's also there's other racing stuff going on. It's just like the only NASCAR, um, touring series going on. That's a lot of money. There's some like moth. Five NASCAR division plus New England Truck Series on Thursday, August 1st, 18 a person. Five if you're a junior, 30 for Paddock. Is that NASCAR? It's like 
NAS regional NASCAR, I think. Oh, I don't know. Let's see. Let's 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 wait a little bit and see where we are with money. Okay. Okay. Is there anything else you want to say to the internet before we go? Fuck bitches, get money. Can you come up with something more creative than that, please? I haven't said that in the longest time. Oh, come on. Something more creative than that. Don't light kittens on fire. Light approves this message. Good night, internet. Blade don't approve that message. Blade wants to be lit on fire. No, he doesn't. Blade approved this message. If, you're like, if you offered Blade a lit match, he'd be like, oh, I'm going to rub on this. Hey, rub. Good boy. Good boy. I love you.